welcome back to Y in the morning. If it's Tuesday, it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles. At Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. In this particular session, we dive into an interview that looks at the beauty and cosmetic industry. You and I know that the cosmetic business in Kenya is a profitable venture you can start, right? So with the increased demand for beauty products, you can make huge profits. And that's the reason why we're having this conversation with none other than James Mwamburi, who is the founder of Sanura Beauty. Hi, James. Hello. Thank you for creating time to be with us. Pleasure. Uh, first of all, before we even go further, right? Yeah. I want to appreciate the name of, the <laughs> of your brand. I find it yeah. so African. Yeah? yeah. So let's go back to what inspired this particular name of the of the of the brand okay. and uh, a little bit of a brief story of who James Mamburi is. Okay, um, I'll start by the name of the company. It's Sanura means kitten. I'm actually a cat person and it's also a common uh, girl name in the, in the coast. I like how it ends with an A and I just love names ending with A's and Sanura just, you know, hit my head during that time. Uh, James Mombori is from uh, Teta Taveta. Okay. I uh, went through industrial chemistry in j -Quartz, and I'm currently doing my master's in uh, environmental chemistry. But okay. I, I must say that this is something that just, you know, came out of nowhere five months ago. Mm -hmm. I actually, uh, it was out of ego. You know, my sister kept telling me that I'm having this degree in industrial chemistry that is, and I'm not really using it. Mm -hmm. So I just came up with, uh, you know, the formulations of just easy making, easy making ways of making sanitizers, and actually shared with my parents and my uh, my family members and friends, and they said it's actually working. And uh, I've been an admirer of how of the African skin, the African hair, and uh, this, especially the shade tree. The shade tree is endemic in Africa, mm -hmm. and I use it mostly to make to make these products. And I've currently been I've been having nice reviews of the same, so it's just been. It's, an, it's like I'm on autopilot. Okay. I'm just, I've just been making these products. I just found, I just found myself here, oh actually. Wow. Yeah. You make it sound so easy. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's easy when you like it, when oh, you like doing oh, whatever okay. you do. Yeah. Okay. So um, initially, uh, before we go to have this conversation live with you guys, okay. we're talking about uh, the aspect of uh, unemployment in the country. Sure. And you have also been in a position whereby you have experienced, uh, you've been in, in a situation whereby you have been unemployed. Sure. So take me through what inspired uh, Sanura. Is this the first, uh, like, uh, first project, or have you done a couple of other things before you settled for the Sanura under, underscore beauty <laughs> yeah. on social media? Actually. Okay. So this is not. Uh, this is actually my first project. I haven't really done something uh, to do with cosmetics, <laughs> beauty, or what, what have you. Um, I did this because I saw the niche. Okay. It's actually it's actually making money in the US. For example, they make up to eighty nine. That, that's twenty eighteen uh, data. They make up to eighty nine thousand. I mean eighty nine uh, million dollars as GDP for just the cosmetics on alone. During that year, it's it's what we made mm -hmm. as a whole as a whole country. So I was thinking um, maybe if we just made sense out of whatever we have currently. Uh, in Kenya and Africa as, as a large, I think we could make so much out of this. You know, that brings about uh, creation of employment. It brings about um, improvement of lifestyle. It, it brings about, uh, you know, appreciation of Africa as a culture and as what we are. Right. Yeah, so I, that is a small business in the making. There are many small businesses around. That's what's going to fix this uh, unemployment issue. We don't have to really look for help out of the, you know, the government, well wishes and all that. We can just come out uh, in this problem, which is you know, basic concepts like this. And that comes from what you, what you say that actually make our own products, yeah. make it good and we can make it local. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. I like that. Mm. So, uh, for someone who is watching this and they are wondering, how how did you go about uh, coming up with these products? Where do you find your raw materials? That is. Okay. Um, I get them locally. I try as much as I can to get them locally because obviously, when you come, when you get to importation of these uh, products, it's quite expensive. Um, they are diverse. The the stuff where I get the you know the raw materials from, um, but majorly. It's it's just like an example of an example is the hair butter and the body butter. Mm -hmm. It's just you know 
a collect it's an agglomeration of oils. I get these oils from around. It, it'll be an endless list okay. to, to tell you where I, I get these. But um, it's quite easy to get them if you compare it with uh, you know importation charges and all that. And uh, it just needs a little bit of literature. You just have to go through you know the basic concepts when it comes to. Uh, uh, soap formulation, uh, shampoo formulation, and all this, and you just have to look for a niche in which you can just dive in. And you make it so sound <laughs> so simple, actually. Okay. So take us through what are the couple of skills that are required in making probably. Let's start with this shampoo. With the shampoo, yes. that's a rosemary mint shampoo. What are the skills, and okay. also uh, probably can mention uh, the raw materials that you okay. use. Yeah. So uh, basically, I have. Uh, when it comes to shampoos, th that's a that's a basic uh, cleansing agent. Yeah, it falls in the same category as um, the multipurpose soap, okay. just anything that cleanses out. So there are basic two there are this, uh, there's two basic things that come into a a cleansing agent. And an example is the shampoo. There's stuff that uh, forms and stuff that just cleans out the dirt. Uh, I that's a basic shampoo. It works as is. But now to make it look um, a little bit more unique, I add in some oils. I add in some rosemary and some mint oils. Uh, they actually work on the scalp, especially with people who have locks. They are, they are quite my clients. <laughs> yeah, people who have locks, they have the problems that you know come mm -hmm. with itching oh and yeah. dandruff. The, the dandruff, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So that's what I, I really do. But there's room for improvement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm still looking into ways into which I can just improve the product further and further. All right, how did you, get, how did you gain the skills? For you. Okay, yeah, as I said, uh, I did industrial chemistry okay. in uh, JQuart, and right. there's, couple, there's a couple of units, there, there couple of units that deal with uh, soap formulation, cosmetics and toiletry, but it's, you know, it's shallow, oh. so you just have to go into, you know. Going deeper. into it. Yeah. That's where we are. Yeah. So for someone who is watching this conversation okay. and they want to get into this same business, All right. what would be your advice for that particular person how to go about just gaining the skills? Okay. Yeah. Uh, the fact that this person wants to get into this uh, enterprise, it means that he is interested, he or she is interested. Very true. So uh, I don't think they're going, they're, going to be ha they're going to be having so much uh, trouble into going through this literature and um, information. There's just there's so much to do with cosmetics and, and related products. There's upcoming trends. There's new materials that you're going to use. There's, uh, there's, there's always something new mm -hmm. in the cosmetic industry. So I'd urge them to, you know, once they just put in the leg, they shouldn't just come out. Even if it's a 5% effort, you already put that effort, so you just have to go all the way. You'll just find the flow inside the business. Okay. I won't give so much detail about that, but you'll just find yourself in the flow. But I can, can they look for you? Can you oh, yeah, help yeah. in terms of yeah, uh, I can, I can, Yeah, I can always help. Uh -huh. um, I like talking to my clients, especially new clients. And I find fun in just explaining what the product is about. Okay, yeah. fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> so let's go back to uh, where it all started. Your initial capital. So what was okay. your initial capital in starting off? Okay, so I was lucky enough to have my siblings around. My parents, they're very supportive. Um, in actual figures, I'd say around 50K. Okay. Yeah, so that would cover in terms of, you know, initial raw materials. Mm -hmm. And you have to test them out. You can't just come up. I didn't just come up with that bottle when it comes to the shampoo. Mm -hmm. I tested out different bottles and clients were like, no, you can just improve on this. So I, ne I used that cash initially. There's also cash that is needed when it comes to experimentation. All right. Yeah, you can't just come up with a perfect body butter. You have to work your way through it. So when starting off with that particular capital, did yeah. you, uh, what did it actually uh, sustain? Was it shampoo? Also, I see the, there's oh, sheer butter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is there any other products? Okay, so the the uh, the initial capital covered the shampoo first. So okay. it's, the, it's the first product that I got. And uh, over time, you know, when you just keep talking to people about the shampoo, you stop midway and you're like, okay, mm -hmm. you've done you've done washing your shampoo. What are you going? What else are you going to do with your hair? So I just came up with that idea of you know you can just condition your hair with this hair butter. So I started just you know gauging some cash out of whatever I make out of the shampoo to make the hair butter, and then following after the body butter. All right. Yeah. Wait, so uh, we have so many beauty products on, on shelves on different uh, uh, shops yeah. out here. So what makes Sanura Beauty uh, quite different in the market? Okay, um, uh, the product currently mm -hmm. is um, it's affordable. 
okay. for people who have used butters in the market right now could get it for thrice the price that I'm selling this product. Okay. So I'm, I'm trying as much as I can to make it affordable and, uh, you know, it will be uh, at the same time efficient mm -hmm. to, to serve its purposes. Mm -hmm. I also uh, am working on, um, you know, the inputs. We're just, working, we, we're just looking at a bears, you know, the active purpose. If it's a shampoo, it just deals with the washing of the hair, okay. you see. So I'm just looking into ways into which I can just twist it a little. It's a work in progress, but currently I'm having awesome reviews in this, in this product. Mm -hmm. And I can say when it comes to the affordability of the, produ of, of the product, sorry, and also um, the ingredients itself, mm -hmm. I think it's, it's quite unique. Okay. Yeah. So for a potential client, right, yeah. if you bring out the issue of cost, it's affordable, then yeah. I feel a little bit easier. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, then the next true. question is, I would ask you to make me feel uh, comfortable enough to use yeah, the product. The product Credibility, yeah. uh, is it of good quality? Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's been a challenge, I should say. Uh, we've heard of these illegitimate products going around in the market, you know, pyramid schemes, people just come up with products, they just import them and mm -hmm. then they just they have the word of mouth, you know, to just tell you that this product is nice and it ends up backfiring. Yeah, the, and even once you have a situation whereby they tell you the product yeah. is organic and yeah. then you and end up having chemicals and true. reacting. That's, yeah, that's very true. So that's that's one of the of the problems that I'm facing as a as a producer and as a person who is giving this product to people. Mm -hmm. I have to have that first phase of telling people, okay, this is this is what I produce. They're actually shocked that I actually produce this. They think I just get it from somewhere and um, mm -hmm. resell it. So there's that phase of me trying to convince you that this product works. And after, I think, once I'm past that phase, people will just um, get through with it and they'll actually like it. All right. Yeah. So how do you, what is your marketing strategy to reach out to clients who are yet to, f to hear about Sanura Beauty? Okay. So um, I, I like telling people this, that I'm not really a marketer, I am a scientist. <laughs> I really need a partner in that uh, aspect. Uh -huh. But currently, um, I've done, I've actually seen the wonders of social media. Okay. Yeah, I've really used social media. I have my um, Instagram page at uh, Sanura underscore beauty and Facebook page as well san at Sanura underscore beauty. So that's where I've been pushing, mm -hmm. really. And it's been of a lot of thanks, the people who use these products they actually um, tell it to other people. That's actually one of the ways I've oh, word really, of mouth. Wide, yeah, I've re yeah, word of mouth. I've mm. really, I've really used that criteria to just, just make sure that you're comfortable with the product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do, I do resells if you're not um, comfortable with the product. Yeah, but the overall, uh, you know, feedback has been nice. Okay. It's been splendid, yeah. Well, going back to credibility, and one of the most important aspect of it is. The product has it been tested to look at skin friendliness because yeah. you have people who have uh, uh, oily skin sensitive okay. yeah. then have the dry skin True. so has the product undergone uh, the test to see if it's actually friendly okay um in the five months that i've been operating mm -hmm. i'm actually trying to get to the clients okay. first so that they can just actually uh, feel the product and um as i said i'm using i'm using the products as well on my body and it's especially the hair people have been you know i've been saying that okay your hair looks nice and i'm like you know, i just use my product it actually does yeah it okay thanks, thanks. Look nice. <laughs> so yeah i've been telling them that i've been using my products and this is what happens i've been having testimonials of people mm -hmm. when it comes to uh having it you know uh certified you know there's there's that aspect of certification yes yeah i, I had planned to um, i am on the you know, on the verge of getting it certified. On the right track. Yeah, I'm on the right track. <laughs> yeah, but you know, like currently I'm just making sure that it works actually on mm. the people around me. I've been giving it to people around me and they've been saying that it's, it's, it's nice. Okay, now take us through, uh, we've looked at the shampoo. Take us through, I'm seeing there's a... Uh, the body butter and the, the hair butter. The body butter and yeah. the hair butter. Yes. So what is, what does, which do the, the red one? Okay, it's that's the, the hair, hair butter. butter. Yeah. Then you have the white one, which is the body butter. The body butter. The importance and uh, just how to, to use. Okay. Yeah. So uh, with the two, mm -hmm. the major ingredient is uh, shea butter. Now shea butter is, is, as I said, endemic in Africa. It's in the West African belt and it's in the, you know, Ethiopian belt. Okay. Actually, Kenya is a nice country to make this. Uh, it's quite, the conditions are quite nice. Mm -hmm. um, the hair butter has the, the shea butter as a major ingredient, as I said. And it's, uh, it has so many properties. 
Okay. Yeah, I just fell in love with the with the shea butter because mm -hmm. of its properties. It's this is for the hair. Antimicrobial, yeah. The hair, you know, for the the, hair yeah, for the hair, but that's okay. uh, the orange one, yeah. Uh -huh. We've got antimicrobial properties, we've got anti inflammatory properties, we've got uh, the major one, moisturizing. Uh, moisturizer, yeah, it's a moisturizer. Oh, right. So, when it comes to the hair, but once you've just washed with Sanura shampoo, uh -huh. once you've done washing your, your hair, uh -huh. and you just use the hair butter easily, you know, you just apply on the hair strands, uh -huh. in that way, it just locks the moisture, okay. and then you know, the, mo the hair will become you know, moisturized for an elongated time. of. Uh -huh. Does it help in making like to uh, improve the texture? Yeah, it improves the texture. It softens the texture. As I said, it's there's an endless list of you know peer-reviewed journals talking about shea butter. Oh, right. Yeah, it makes it softens, it shines. Uh, I also have uh, ingredients inside the hair butter that makes your hair you know grow. Ah, yeah, nice. improves on the scalp. I have some mint oil in there. In the product, because yeah. uh, for the guys who have uh, natural hair, they will True. agree with me that it's quite expensive to maintain a natural yeah, hair. It's very, it's so having something that is affordable and of uh, good quality yeah. is the way to go, yeah, right? That's, that's the way to go. Uh, take us through the body butter. Now the body butter <laughs> is also uh, majorly the shea, but it's actually around eighty percent. Mm -hmm. I like comparing the body butter to a lotion, for example. Uh, now you see the lotion has in its place eighty percent water; mm -hmm. it evaporates quite easily. But now with the shea butter has, you know, uh, I'll save you the chemistry of the palmitic acid and Please, all that. Please, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, so it, it, it has those uh, oils mm -hmm. that will uh, moisturize your skin for at least 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and wow. it smells heavenly. I wish you could just smell the hair. Uh, we'll do that. <laughs> or I should just confirm yeah, for yeah, my yeah, viewers yeah. and how it smells. Yeah. For the sake of, <laughs> sake of for the team. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's, it's uh, it's, yeah, it's yeah, smells really nice. Yeah. All right, so what are a couple of financial lessons that you've learned along this? You know, I know it's not like a, uh, a long time yeah. uh, since you started, but a yeah. couple of financial lessons that you've learned along the way. Okay, um, I'm currently, um, I used to be poor at, you know, keeping track of the finances mm -hmm. when it comes to this, because it was actually uh, a side hustle of sorts, yeah. Um, this year, I, I made a resolution to, uh, you know, just pick my receipts and have them, you know, uh, put aside and I'll have to maybe look for a partner, you know, when it comes to the marketing and the finances because it's, it's, it's growing, it's a growing company and I think I really need to, to do that. It also even gives you space to yeah. even uh, to be able to invent create more and, and, and you know, produce more. True. Oh, that's okay. very true, yeah. All right. So that's... I've been very poor when it comes to financing this, but I'm, I'm sure I'll, I'll get there. Okay. I, I was, I, for real, I wasn't really sure this is going to be this big, but... You're still a student, right? I'm still a student. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're taking your master's? Yeah. So, um, uh, are you looking forward to how you're going to now, uh, you know, balance, balance the, the business and also school? Okay. Um, it's my resolution to have finances at, as well, investors in the company. Mm -hmm. I think there's going to there's going to be a little help when it comes to uh, um, managing this as well as a project in I'm, I'm in my second year so it's just it's project work and it's similarly you know related to this and uh, yeah I think when I get invested I'll have to a little staff you know a small team that is going to help me when it comes to deliveries when it comes to you know even making I can just be there to just show them however to make the stuff mm -hmm. so I think I'm going to have so much help this year because i'll have to balance it out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. true mm -hmm. all right like the fact that you've actually recognized that you need help because yeah. most of the time we want to go all in because yeah, it's yeah. our baby want to you know true. embrace it's and just very true because you you're the one who has the vision right yeah yeah so let's look at a couple of challenges that you're facing okay so uh i'll start first by um you know the the whole trading you know um the certification and and when it comes to trade licenses as a small business, I think I'll, I'm speaking for the other guys that it's it's been quite hectic, uh, trying to you know purchase these licenses and you know uh, there's there's just so much going into certification of uh, legitimizing my, my my small business. Okay. Uh, I think it'll be better if the government just simplified the whole process of you know making a product you know just to to be you, I have to be safe with the product. I can just put it in shelves in supermarkets. Um, I, but I need those certifications. So those certifications have been a little bit hectic mm -hmm. to get, but I'm working on that. 
Also, um, when it comes to life, I mean, the, the capital itself, it's quite hard to get, you know, you, you, during these times, it's usually hard to just get cash to uh, just do your research, you know, do your R&D when it comes to these products. So I can say majorly those two are uh, quite uh, troubling when it comes to running a business of right. this kind. But I can say that you've really done quite well, considering the time that you've been into the, into the business. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I would like to look at uh, what, what, what does the vision look like? like I don't want to give you a, a specific <laughs> time frame. Okay, okay. So what, uh, give yourself a time frame. Okay. And then give us a vision okay. of where you want to so, see Sanura Beauty okay. at. I'd say in two years. Mm -hmm. In two years, I'd like to uh, articulate uh, you know, individual problems. Okay. You know, when it comes to, say, uh, you know, people have, say, just acne, I can just work on that specifically. That's what they do actually abroad. They can have specific people, specific types of, you know, issues, and they can just handle it. It could solving be... Solving a particular it, yeah, problem. Yeah, solving a particular problem. It could be just as little as uh, a thousand people per product, but, you know, you're just taking care of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that we haven't done that much in, in Africa. Or Kenya and uh, I think it's it's high time we you know we just make ourselves feel you know uh, special in mm -hmm. terms of articulating our own uh, physical uh, uh, beauty I like that yeah. I like how, I like how you just brought it back home yeah, and just yeah. uh, looking on different ways to solve problems so and that's how we actually true. start business by solving yeah. problem in the market yeah. so how can guys find you on social media um, so uh, on Instagram I'll be at Sanura underscore beauty mm -hmm. and uh, on Facebook also, it's a Facebook page at Sanura underscore beauty. Oh, yeah, you can right. just go there. There are testimonials. There is, uh, there's nice photos. And there's everything you want to know about the product. Mm -hmm. Everything is it's just there. It's highlighted. It's and you just forgot nice. about your merchandise. Just oh, like that. <laughs> sorry, yeah. So I have little Mr. J here. <laughs> I do hoodies. I do t-shirts. I do, um, but mostly this has been uh, the most selling uh, merchandise. Mm -hmm. That's the and same symbol on the Yeah, that's the same symbol. Yeah, that's the, that's ah, the Mr. J. Okay. That's, my, that's my little guy there. Oh, right. Yeah, so I, I do this at uh, 2500. You can just, uh, you know, holler at me in my inbox, in my DM of the pages. <laughs> I'll get back to you. Okay, thank yeah. you very much, James Mamburu, for creating time to be with us. Thank you, appreciate I'm it. looking forward to have this conversation again in two years' time frame. Okay, yeah, nice, nice. I'll, thank I'll you here. very much. So, thank guys, so much. that is James Mamburu, founder of Sanura Beauty. So, yeah. make sure you stay tuned. We have so much coming your way right here on Why in the Morning Tuesday. It's Entrepreneurship Tuesday at Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira. So, you can find me across all my social. We'll be right back.